Okay, uh, in this script we look at uh, two more functions called uh, format number and format percentage. I'll go through the uh, sample script here, run it, and kind of demonstrate for you the kind of impact uh, we can add to the output and control uh, where a number is displayed uh, on the screen. Say for example here we have a number negative one two three four five dot six seven eight nine one two three so there are almost about seven digits after the decimal point so the the syntax is you know you can pass the number to the function and tell hey you know how many digits do you want to display after the decimal point so in this case is a two so we will get a six seven when if it you know it will normally normally average it or round it and uh, not average but it will round it so it will become dot six eight because the third digit is eight uh, so the one before it you know incremented by one so it becomes dot six eight uh, in this case too what I did is uh, I took the you know, again you know passing that number saying that uh, two meaning you know two uh, decimals after the decimal point and then it has a comma uh, it's left blank that is uh, you know uh, include a leading uh, digit then I have VB true that means VB true that is this uh, saying that use parenthesis for negative numbers so instead of uh, putting a negative sign in the output it'll, it'll put within the parenthesis and the third one here it says uh, I uh, says you know group digits by default the numbers are grouped you know it has comma there so if in this case it'll be twelve thousand comma three four five. So if you set it to false, it will not group it. So we'll, we'll run. You'll see the difference when we run the script. And this uh, second part is the function uh, called format uh, percentage. So it will take a fraction, you know, numbers like forty five by eighty or something, you know, similar to that, and it will return the value in percentage. So let me run the script real quick. So look at this hundred here. It's coming as a negative twelve thousand three hundred forty-five point six eight because that dot six eight is because of this number two and you know, grouping happens by default. Two hundred. Uh, I have instead of negative, we have uh, the number in parenthesis indicating that it's negative, and then it's you know by default it's grouped. You see comma after twelve. And coming from 300, uh, I said we you know group digits to false here. We be true. That's the position there. That's a false. That's this one. Group digits. Group digits. That's it. False. And uh, I don't have. That's the reason why grouping is gone. And then I have we be true set for. Um, use parenthesis for negative numbers position so that's why we have a parenthesis there next I have 400 coming from here and I have 56.25 percentage so it took 45 by 80 if we pass that to the pro format percentage function and that return 56.25 percentage okay now that's how you know uh, it works. I mean, this is uh, really useful uh, depending on the kind of project that you work with. If you, you know, end up uh, getting a huge, like for example, you know, three by ten, you you will get three point three 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 three. You know, you get almost nine. You know, depending on your um, output on uh, from the system you get you know bunch of threes in there but you know so most of the times it really doesn't make any sense to go beyond three decimal points you know so, I mean three decimal digits most of the counting is done up to three and sometimes it goes up to four or five depending on uh, the kind of accounting 
and the business or industry you're dealing with. So that's how you can control um, the output based on using the number format. And using percentage, it, it comes real handy when you try to display uh, percentage values. So you can just directly use format uh, percentage if it's a fraction, pass it to that function, it'll directly give you it uh, in percentage format. Okay, let's go ahead and look at another script. Okay, in this script, we will look at uh, is null, is empty, null, empty, and uh, you know, see a small logic around it as well. I have few variables declared here at the top, and then uh, say for example, var one, I'm checking if it is a null or not. By default, when you declare a variable, it is not null. Then you know, I have another variable var two, and I assigned a value of m here. So obviously, this is not null because it it has some value in there. Then I can do, you know, is variable is null on var2. So I'm passing var2 to this function. Obviously, it is not null, and I, what I would get, the written value is either true or false. It's a Boolean value, so what you get is uh, false here. In this case, I specifically said var3 equal to null, and I'm checking is null. So obviously, what I have for the result, what I get is a false. Sorry, you know, true, because if we said it's null. Then I have empty, then I'm checking here, then obviously this will be false, it is not null. Uh, then uh, I have a little logic, if it is null, then I'll say, you know, result is I'm null, if it isn't, and I'll say else it is, I'm not null. Let's say I'll start with uh, something as x, y, z, and we'll, we'll change the value and run a second time. So let me go ahead and run it. So 100 is false because by default, once you declare a variable, it is a not null. It is, and 200 is not null because the value of that variable is I'm here. Number 300, that is true because the value of var3 is null. Because we're checking is null, and it is null, so it's, what you get is true because it's, you know, the return value of the function is it's a boolean value whether it's true or false then 400 it is empty is declared as empty but you know you're checking it's a null or not it is not null so it's false then on 500 which is coming from line 34 and i'm getting as i'm not null because the val value of variable 5 is xyz and I'm saying, hey, you know, if it is, uh, if the variable uh, five or five is null, then the result is I'm null. If it is not null, obviously this is not null because the value is x, y, z. Then the result gets a uh, you know value of I'm not null, and that is what is being passed into this uh, display function message, and you get I am not null. So a little validation that you can do uh, depending on the need on your variables. Well, uh, that's it about uh, you know uh, the built-in functions. There are a lot of built-in functions, but I covered a few so that you can get a good hang of uh, you know built-in functions. Okay, uh, talk to you in the next video.